Okay, we are back. Hello. Are you okay? You are in your wheat field? Yes. Where are you going? These are really pretty pictures, by the way. Super pretty. Hello. Sky, I had another dream. Yes, I saw. I, I think. Did you see this one too? Yes. I forgot how to play. It's been a week. <laughs> I was in a big field like the one in my last dream. And I saw my village. But then I woke up. Ah, <sighs> uh, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Yes, yes it is. Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Sky? Yes. Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall, sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean. A food! <laughs> oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I've been to the ocean. That's really cool, Sky. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. Ah, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark sky. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Uh, me too. Really? Even though you're a god? Yeah, I, I see. Oh, but it's a good thing I got over that fear. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So, thanks for that. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Sky. Yes, let us head out. Where are we going exactly? Are we going here? Have you found- oh. Did I find I How do I- <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Okay, let's try. I don't remember how to play. Oh my god! <laughs> I found the pen! Good. Please write your name here. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Let me look at the controls because I don't remember how to play. <laughs> okay. We are gonna go up here. Yes, hello. This is giving me very... Omori vibes, actually. What in the world? We're gonna ignore it. We're gonna ignore it. Just leave. Just leave. We're not- Oh my god, no. Ah, my god, no. <laughs> you leave Nico alone, okay? Just because Nico carrying the sun and then the sun go take you out of here. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, hello. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is very different. This is a huge change from the city below. Goodness. Hello. Ah, the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to Zerifuge. Do you understand what you must do here? I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta get down a lot of stairs. Or find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright. Thank you. Off you go then. I wish you luck. Ah, I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. Only the bearer of the sacred kernel is permitted to access to the garden. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have a kernel then. Thanks. I guess. Come on! Come on! Work already! Huh? What was that? Is it this way? Where, where is that sound coming from though? Hello! 
Come on. Come on. I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa! You're- you! Ah, jeez. I didn't think I was gonna run into- This is embarrassing. Err. Is there, uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Right now, the elevator is all the way to access the surface, but... Yeah, just take a look at it. It- it looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but... Go look at the button panel. Oh, okay. Huh, there aren't any buttons. Yep, that's a problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something? I tried looking everywhere for it, but to no avail. But maybe it exploded. Do you think we'll have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. Oh gosh, okay, so I have to make a new one. I'm not doing the- oh god, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I guess this is not- this is the way we're going. What are those things? They need to chill, okay? Just cause there are glitches in the world doesn't mean they gotta continue glitching. It's an empty coffee tent- oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. Oh, well. Sucks for you. I guess you're stuck up here. I'm gonna leave, so... Yeah. Sorry about that. I mean, I'm gonna try to fix the elevator, of course. Don't worry about it. But like... Uh, if your shift ends anytime soon, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Which kind of sucks, because... Realistically, I wouldn't want to be at work any longer than I need to be. And, uh, oh, I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Sure, why not? You can nap all you want. And my game closed. Give me a moment. <laughs> I need some water too. Ah. Stay hydrated. Oh, who is this? Is this your mom? Wait, I'm still... Okay. Hello, mama. Oh, Nico's eating the pancakes her mama make for her. Oh, Kina's cute. At least you gotta take a bite before you woke up. Isn't that great? Sky, I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yes. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Yes. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. Oh, and oh, <laughs> one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yes. Oh, do you, they share their food with you? No. That's not very nice of them. <laughs> our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone else takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Yes, we should. But it's okay, Nico. You'll be able to go home at the end of this, hopefully. I don't know. Okay, this is my first time playing this game. I don't know how this story's gonna go. But if it's anything like Undertale, then you'll live. <laughs> and if it's anything like Amori, you could potentially die if I make the wrong choice of not checking Basil's room first and instead just going straight home. Is this an apartment? Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I, Model 8XM, Home Security Bot, TM Serial Number 39232B839W4 will have to report you. Oh, sorry. I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspicious, uh, suspicious activity is detected zero. Well, I guess as long as I didn't do anything bad. Like what? It's off. Ah, I guess we'll leave then. Okay. Well, that was lovely. I kind of like this area. I guess this is unlocked too. Okay. Hello.
Okay. <laughs> you could at least talk to them. It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. Oh. I'm gonna leave. I'm, I'm gonna leave. It's a pink flower. Yes, I love pink flowers. I'm wearing pink right now. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I kind of matched the, the, the scene. Lots of pinks and purples. Hello, would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Hmm. Do you know rock, paper, scissors? Desired difficulty level? Huh? D desired duration of turns? Uh, please set your timer. Never mind. Thank you. My parents are like literally never home. But I don't mind. I'm used to it. Besides, I've got model CW2 second gen unit 4E here to keep me company now. She still talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay. She's learning. If I work real hard, she might even be tamed someday. I keep hearing that word. What? Tame? Mm-hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. That's just a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. Ah. Oh. I, I would like to know what it means. Realistically, like, I, I want to know. Ooh. Hello, goat. Oh, hello, fellow bird person. I just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in this city. You've been to the Glen, right? Yeah. Everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer me up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy here. <laughs> Not much is left of this plant. Poor plants. The title is City Life. What to expect? Okay, Betsy. Well, you have fun. At least you're eating, you know? Oh, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. It looks- it's like a little car. Uh, resist the urge to ride on it. I wasn't going to, Sky. Thank you. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure that's a vacuum and you'd probably break it. Oh, a potted plant. This one has a pink flower on it. Hello. Ooh. Oh, hello. Hello there. You have a lot of plants. I do. Grew all of these myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. Okay. That's a phosphor tree. Oh, like the ones we saw in the glen. I always wondered, where are the leaves? They're not dead, are they? No, oh, not at all. Although these trees are composed of a woody tissue, they're closer to a grass, anatomy-wise. So the branches are actually leaves? Sort of. What's interesting about these plants is the amount of phosphor sap they can generate. Phosphor, that's the glowy stuff, right? Yep. Phosphor can store light energy and slowly emit it over time. Most of the phosphor from this world still contains energy from before the sun went out. Without the sun to recharge them though, well, let's talk about something else. Oh, so they're gonna die without the sun. Still. Cactus. 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 It's a pink flower. Ah, black clovers. Probably the only plant hardy enough to survive naturally outside the glen. Personally, I think they're really boring to look at. One of my customers really loves them though. I think all of the black clovers I'm growing here are for him actually. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him in a while. I wonder when he is coming to pick these up. Probably dead. This tree has leaves. Ah yes, true foliage is hard to come by nowadays. You hardly ever see trees like these in the wild anymore. And the ones you do see are pretty much all raised artificially by people like me. Mostly by nostalgia purposes. Ugh. <laughs> it's wheat. Why is it in a flower pot? Well, doesn't it look nice? I guess. I like to stand in the middle of the wheat field back in my village. It goes on for miles. Ah, I wish I could have seen it. In our world, wheat is only grown in small isolated plots or in a flower pot. Well, I mean, it's still a small isolated pot, so <laughs> you're not wrong in that sense. Okay, so we are finally done on this floor. What is on this floor? Oh, these are rooms. I didn't even realize these were going to be rooms. Oh, hello, TV man. Hey there. Hello. You the messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will. When I see her again. <laughs> Thank you, TV man. It was nice. Uh, speaking to you. Can I have these? This fridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy? I hope nobody will mind us taking them. That'll be fine. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can check out anything else. So we're going to go back. Maybe the other areas that went down has a nice room to go- Oh, we're in the washroom. Oh, yeah, no, I meant to check this. A small potted plant. Okay, was that it? Oh, scissors. Okay, there's a pair of scissors on the ground. On a pile of hair. I don't think anyone's using it anymore, so... 
can I have the hair? Maybe we can turn the hair into rope, you know? Like a, a whole Rapunzel situation? Like that's not a bad idea to be perfectly honest, especially when you're trying to make stuff like left and right, you might as well have hair on the hand. The door is locked from the inside. Ah, okay. That's totally fine by me. That means less rooms that we have to check out. We are done here. Oh. Yes, we are done here, so we're going to go ahead and check the other side now because that is the last area that I have not checked yet. Whew. Okay, so what is on this side? Uh, it's another apartment complex. A small tree, yes. Hello, clockman. Or woman, whichever one you prefer. Good evening. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. If the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. I mean, he, you're kind of a clock for a head. It's kind of hard not to tell time, I, you know. Oh, hello. You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Expose it to the void. I wonder what that's supposed... This is freaky. Ooh, this freaky as heck. Ooh, I don't like it. Okay. Ooh, we're on the roof now. I think this is a roof. It's very... Loud? Wow. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of this world's population lives here. Don't stand too close to the edge, someone might push you over. Is that water? Is that like a reflection? Okay. I'm liking it though. I'm not gonna lie, I do like this city area. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. Yes, that is very true. I technically live in a suburb. It's similar, right? What about you, Sky? Where do you live? Uh, I don't really live in a city, and I don't think I can count this as a village. It's more like a town, suburb kind of area. Um, I, I guess I could go with village. A village? Just like me. Can you imagine living in a city like this? I can't. It's kind of scary, but also really cool. I don't know, it's... Stairs? Where does this go? <laughs> Excuse me, I was already here. You can't just loop around like that. How does that even work? You were just a straight line? Uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna question it. Did I still clueless? Figures. Yes, please. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewport, where everything is obscured. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the film through the void and back again. What are you talking about? Are you talking about the game files? Because I don't know what you're talking about right now, okay? I'm very confused. Okay, give me one moment to figure out where the heck they're talking about. Okay, I'm confused. I'm gonna look it up real quick. <laughs> okay, so I apparently missed something here. So we're gonna go ahead and equip the seed and then go this way. I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. Only the bear of the secret kernel is permitted access to the garden. Oh, like a kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady in the glen. That is indeed the colonel. Then, it is your duty to regrow her. Do you understand what you must do? Um, yes. Good. You may now pass through here to access the garden. Okay. I, I only know because uh, I, I looked it up. But it's fine. We, we totally need the walkthrough because realistically, I am going to be lost without the walkthrough, so... Oh, hello. Time to put the seed in a planter. There's no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? No. But we will be right back because we gotta talk to Mr. Planthead so that we can get the dirt. Okay, hello Mr. Planthead. I need soil. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yep. Do you 
happen to have any dirt? For growing plants, I mean. Yep. You need some? Yes. I am supposed to plant this seed left behind by a plant lady, but the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Here, take this whole bag. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Now we go back to the pot and we uh, plant it, I suppose. <laughs> okay, hello, plant. There's no dirt in this pot. Oh, yeah, right. I gotta equip it. Okay, hello. I hope this helps you grow a little seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Uh, I have a tube of water. Good thinking, Sky. Water should help this seed grow. Hmm, the dirt's nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water from this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. Okay, so. I have a weird film with a sheet of numbers. And I'm honestly very confused, but we're not going to think about it. Wait, is there anything else in this area? No, okay. We'll come back for it. Can I just get water from here? No? Okay, it's fine. Ooh, hello. A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. Bolted? Can I just use magnets? No? On the metal can. Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. Just like arts and crafts. Hmm, I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to cut connect it to the elevator? Maybe, well, let's find out. Okay. The buttons don't stick to the aluminum, but... Oh, what if I just folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm. It's holding together, if just barely. I hope that's good enough. Okay, now we use it on the tape. Oh, of course, I gotta tape it together or it might fall apart. Good thinking, Sky. Okay. Peep, they are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use it, though. Oh. Okay. Some kind of computer terminal. What do you gotta say? I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually. The surface across elevator appears to be broken. Oh, access elevator, excuse me. There's a button missing and can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Ah, never mind. Okay, then let us go. There is a timer on the elevator and right now, technically, it's unlocked. So let's go take a look at it. I have a piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door some sign kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. Oh, okay. Never mind. What is a weird film? What is this? Oh! 63014, okay. <laughs> That that's an interesting mechanic. I like that. I would have never gotten that though, realistically. I'm just like, what are you talking about? The void, the void, the void. <laughs> okay, but let's go back to the elevator and then see what we can do about it. We're going to equip the taped button. Let's hope this works. It worked, surprisingly. Ah, that's rude. That's very rude. Reactivating elevator services. Oh, maybe it didn't do anything. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, nah, the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. I guess we should go look for a code, Sky. I have a code. It's, uh, it's this one. I gotta do it again. 63014. Okay. Please input. Okay. Uh, 63014. Thank you. <laughs> we did it. What? It works. I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Sky, too. Oh, right. The whole Messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Okay, is there anything else that I need to do? Okay, let me see if I can go to sleep real quick so that I can save it. Oh, nope, I already saved, so never mind. We are gonna continue forward. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? 
Oh shoot, you've been waiting this whole time and holding the door open? Well, I uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry, I should have told you to go on ahead. Eh, don't worry about it. I don't trust this elevator. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Many dots are being shared between the two. Sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? I mean, sure. All right, Sky. Should I... Um... <laughs> Oh, I'm so tempted! Is there anything? Okay, let's ask about a job. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights, mostly. But now I will also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High-energy? You know, the super-concentrated, glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of this city stuff. Oh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Alright Sky, should I ask about this city? The city is a very bi this city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. <laughs> Getting pretty crowded too. First there was the refugees from the barons and now more glen folk are moving in too. Oh, it's just safer here, you know. I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff that we just saw, we get more of that here than anywhere else apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up, which is good since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright Sky, should I ask about the library? Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of the main that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance, but I already but I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Sky. Yay, we did it. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh Nico. Right. See you around, kid. Got to run now. Ah, oh, he runs fast. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Sky. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Okay. So we're gonna go this way then. Ooh. Is this- That's a window. We're not gonna be peeping into people's rooms. Okay, that's kind of illegal. That's actually not even kind of illegal. It is illegal. Oh. That kind of scared me for a second. We're leaving! Nico, we're leaving! Sky, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second, and then I saw something? Like a really short dream. Yeah, we're leaving. I wonder what was what that was about. Yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving! <laughs> mm -mm. No, 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 no. We're leaving. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, there's so many routes. Okay, so where is this library exactly? I was not... told? Hello. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Uh, gone in an instant. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think so. I think that would be for the best. What? Oh, <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in the library. There's books in the library. Um, go buy, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Jeez, so rude. The author's, author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon, these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Books are neatly placed on the shelf. Oh yes. Oh, hello. Do you need the directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No. Oh, that's good. Or I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him. Not even once. 
He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he'd at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe he's just around people. I mean, that's true. Y you could travel the world and still be like, uh, I'm not talking to all these people. You crazy. Uh, th th that's pretty much me. Yep, still scared of ladders. Yep, that's me too. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Okay. Well, thank you for the warning. We are just gonna go up here now because we're in a library. Well, hello, binocular man. The author is so cool. I heard he could travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gets materials for his books. Wow. Oh, okay. I thought that's who I needed. Hello, book person. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry. These are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Eh? How come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author! I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just gonna write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh... I mean, I ain't hate him. I can see why people go over his- not, uh, go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? I've never- it's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you, you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets and mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Heh, <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. No, well, that's true. Poor guy, you should just leave it, it's okay. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphorus. Oh gosh, I don't want to read all this. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. I will leave this on the screen for y'all if you want to read it, but I'm not reading this, you're crazy. Okay, that this one's green phosphor, okay. It's located at the Glen, okay. And then the red phosphor, okay. This is located at the refuge. I'm gonna need to know all this, aren't I? I already regret not reading it, but um, it's fine. I want to get to this. Oh, here we go. A big book with a big black clover on the cover. The title says Emergency of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Phosphor shrimp? Okay. Scary. Not going anywhere near that. The common firefly. I love fireflies. They're neat. Oh, crap. I, I didn't mean to. Do... Oh, okay. That was it. Okay, that's fine. Hello, what you got to say? The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travelogues and novels, mostly. Oh, okay. So what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Uh, I'm good. Thanks, though. The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time. No such mechanism exists in this world. Is this actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. They're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat. Okay, well, I'd, I'd, I'd like very much to... Okay, thank you. Okay, so this author. I wish I was an author. I would love to write books. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Please answer. Please answer. They're not answering. Oh no. She is not picking up. 
Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then, can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the doorbell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. Ah, please go to sleep. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh my. <sighs> She's not gonna pick up. We were already through this. <laughs> Please let me go. I'll go steal someone's library card, okay? Shouldn't there be like a desk where you could just. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Well, even in an emergency, my programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <sighs> Look, okay, you could have just said that I needed a library card to go up there. Why didn't you just say that? You said I could go up there. You didn't say that I needed a library card to get through, okay? So now what do I do? So we're gonna go back to Elevator Street. And then the area that freaked me out, apparently that's where I have to go. So, um, the... I... I don't want to go through here, to be perfectly honest. I don't. Oh my gosh, there's multiple paths. Okay, what's up here first? Please don't steal the sun. Like, I can't afford to get the sun, sold, the sun stolen. Why are there multiple... Oh, okay, never mind, we're going up here instead. Oh. Whoa. Sky, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. Thoughts. I'm sorry if you're looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. But can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Or what do you mean by that? No reply. Hello. Come back. Okay, well, I guess we're not going that way. I don't know. We're just gonna go up here. Oh gosh, that scared me for a second. Okay, hello. Oh. Okay, this leads to a completely different area. So we're gonna check out the... The slums down here first. It's not really the slums. It's just an alleyway. Realistically, and uh, yeah. So hello. What is this? It's a faded flyer. Okay. It's a faded flyer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, rams. A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram. Go rams. Okay, so I had to wear this. I see you have the club uniform. You may come in. <laughs> ah! It's good to see you too. The ram. This ram doesn't react to me at all. Instead, the word "ba" is written on its wall. That one isn't a ram. That one is read only. I see. So, we meet again. Hello. Wait, aren't you from the village? Yes, but the rams are ever present. In the village, in the city, even in your heart. Okay. An electric kettle looks like it's boiling water. Oh right, it's almost lunchtime. Would you like to stay for a nice cup of... Rot? <laughs> no, stay! I want the ramen! <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's like a lot that needs to be done. And uh, I'm a little tired, to be perfectly honest. But we'll keep going. It's strangely warm in this room. Oh, look at the little cats. You're a fellow cat, Nico. <laughs> oh, Nico gonna get mad at me calling him a cat. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes, but I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. 
Your hat is shaped like a cat, but I'm just a person. You're still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Sky to guide me. I see. <laughs> you should just join them. It's okay, Nico. Oh, that was kind of cute. I like that robot. Oh, wait. What is this? I forgot about this. It's kind of freaky. It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. You're not going to read it. Okay. There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Sky. Are we, are we really going to take these with us? But they look so heavy. Alright. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Good. The handle on this looks broken. With a wire handle. A framed photo of someone. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Can I sleep here? Yes, the bed does have a few patches. Okay, so I cannot take any of the jars. We're gonna leave. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Lamplighter. Thank you for the disc, I guess. Hello. Hey, kid. Want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Man, I, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted bread myself. I see. <laughs> it's okay. Are you here for your photos? No. Alrighty then. I'll just uh, stand here. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 a it's a okay. Let let's unequip the shirt because I don't think I need it anymore. Okay, is there anything else around here? Oh, hello. Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to go find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one from the library? I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't here. There. Oh, oh. Uh, maybe check out the factory. You just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. Okay, thank you. I will be leaving now. Oh my god, are you Mr. Lamplighter? I hope you're not Mr. Lamplighter. I can't believe you, li you live in the alleyway like that. This dance smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad though. Do you want one? It's okay, thank you. Oh, hello. Hey, hey. Ready for me to blow your mind? Yep, yes. Okay, so, I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water, and then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me, go spread the word. Okay, thank you. That was very nice of you, actually. But we are going to go this way, hello? Is this the scientist room? It's kind of long. I'd, I'd very much like for you to not be this long, to be perfectly honest. Oh my gosh, why are there multiple pathways? Okay, look, we're just gonna go into this tube thingy and hope for the best because um, I'm not gonna rely. Never mind, we're gonna leave. But yeah, I'm not going to like completely rely on the walkthrough. I just want to travel and like look around and kind of see what I can figure out myself, you know? But yeah. It looks like I can unlock this door. Then unlock it. Thank you. Where are we? I would like to know, to be perfectly honest, because I'm uncertain. Oh, we're back here. Okay, well. Oh, hello. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh, I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Okay, so empty tube with the water pill. Water pill, oh. Okay, empty tube. I can get water here, right? Right, I can refill this tube with more water here. Okay, now we combine the no, not the concave lens. I'm surprised I still have that. Okay, water pill. We have tube of water. So put the pill in the water. It dissolves really fast. Okay, now I have medicated water. And then we're going to go back upstairs. Okay, 
Can I actually just fast travel there? Cause... Oh, I'm already on elevator street. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna be able to fast travel there. We're just gonna walk all the way back, okay? Thank you very much. The elevator goes back up to the catwalks. We'll need to press the button if we wanna go. Okay. Okay, let me in. Now we go back to the plant. Okay, plant, it's time to water you. Good thinking, Sky. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Good luck, little plant. Goodbye, my little, my little one. I guess we are just gonna leave you now, I suppose. Oh wait, was this always open? It didn't do anything. Oh, it's a giant camera, isn't it? Okay. Um, is it the film? Oh no 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 not you not you not you no. Okay, let's let's put the thick film. Then we put in the thin film. Oh my god, what? What am I doing? Okay, never mind. Give me this. Put it here. And then that, and then there. Yeah? Okay, walk through, thank you. I would never have gotten this. Ooh. There's a slot here. Looks like a paper or something might come out from it. Okay. Cheese! <laughs> Ouch, but my eyes! It's okay, little one. We got your picture. It's a photo of me. Am I always, always this big? Well, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, now where, where do we go now? Walk left, down, and left, and up until you're at the factory. Inside of it, there will be a robot telling you to pass the security system. Left, down, left. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. Where am I? This is kind of freaky. Is this the factory? It looks like a factory. Hello. Oops, sorry. I, I, my god. Oh, it's there. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The, uh, huh? You must change the colors of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. What? Okay, so there is green, red, and blue. What? Can you at least tell me where I'm supposed to be getting this color from? Is there no hint? I mean, is there no way to actually... See? The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming to say the least, that's the sharpest decline I've seen and the number is only increasing. We will have further concentrate... We will have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance this city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? Okay, that didn't help me with my current crisis, though. Okay, what about this room? Will it tell me what I need to do? Beep boop, this is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also robots. Okay, thanks. It may help you to go one color at a time. It can also help to write down previous attempts. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Excuse me? It resets also, so it changes? Okay. One color at a time. One light's correct. Axes the nine, nine tries left. One light is correct. One light is still correct. Zero lights are correct. Okay, so this one is yellow. One light is still correct. So that means none of them are blue. Three lights are correct. Okay, 
four lights are correct. Okay, so that one's red. Five lights are correct. There we go! Oh my gosh! Yay! <laughs> oh, hello. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... Please do not approach. Oh, poor robot. I guess there's no help. I mean, there could be a way to help you. I just don't know how. Monitoring. Okay, what are you monitoring? Uh, the square particles just took out two of my robots in the glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. <gasps> no! Are those the two little robots that we were talking to before? The Barrett engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. There sure are a lot of computers here, and they look important too. I'm picking up some disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. I mean, at least it's consistent, you know? Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. Oh, poor scientist. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? I don't know. I've never met the Dr. Silverpoint, so I couldn't tell you. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if you're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay. Ooh, poor robots. They're just trying to live their best life. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? But what does that have to do with anything? Never mind. <laughs> I mean... I guess? I mean, look at you, you're a cat. But you don't like people calling you a cat, you know? Hello? Oh, shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. This guy helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I need it to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out the library cards. Really? Hey, that sounds like Georgia, right? I'm sorry, you caught her on a bad day. Aw. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot, I forgot. The front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it away anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Oh, I already took a photo. What's this? Something is poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. You never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. You're so nice. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you re get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh, you know, it's kind of very embarrassing to admit how little of it I have actually seen. Oh, ironic, isn't it? Even though the, I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far, far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research first hand. First, oh my god, I cannot speak. Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah? Ah, okay. Hey, Sky. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. 
I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Do we have the amber? Oh? Th that's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the barrens gave it to me. She kind of... She looked kind of like you? I see. Sigh. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that looks like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh, but turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, miracle worker that, oh my gosh. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that Amber, okay? I will. And I tried to sell it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay. So, do I just combine my photo? Okay, then I need tape probably, right? Okay, can I travel in here? Yes, I can. Oh, so we go back up. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, let's see if I can just do this. A tape dispenser? It's bolted to- yes. I'm quite well aware. Can I not- <sighs> I'm confused now. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to use a glitter glue. Which I guess it makes sense, but I, I don't know. The card has my face on it now? Okay, well, now we just head back to the library. <laughs> Okay, hello. Facial recognition, yes, you're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. No, it doesn't matter. Then you don't need it, we're just gonna go. Okay, is there anything here that I can just take? Looks like an old phone, okay. Hey, little fella. Hello. So you're gonna like save the world and stuff. Didn't think I'd run into ya, but now I did. Hey. <laughs> um, thanks. So like, what's up? Can I get you anything? Yeah, I heard you can help me. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. But how do I do that? You don't. At least, we don't. The tower's only got one teeny room in it. It ain't even got stairs. I bet you need Sky's help on this one, pal. Exactly how? I don't know. But I bet you anything that sort of knowledge is in, is in some mystery book somewhere. Nothing in my collection fits that description though. Ah. Uh, I mean... A book is poking out from the shelf. Oh my goodness. Do I want to read all this? Not really. Oh, okay, it's not that long, so... Oh my gosh. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in spirit. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regret regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Ratchis was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the prophet's day-to-day -day musings and his writings has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Okay. 
Ah, oh, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Oh, thank goodness. Wednesday. Another li still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Thursday. Various sketches. Practice. Oh man, I should practice on my drawing more. I've kind of given up on it, to be perfectly honest. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also glow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Okay, that's pretty neat. Thankfully, Dr. Silver's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time. But it still capable should be capable of delivering the late profits message. Oh, the profit died. The, the team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Oh. Plus, I, well, at least the message was delivered, I suppose. Can I speak to you more? So how do you like my... So how do you like my books, bruh? Oh gosh. They're nice? Hey. <laughs> oh, it makes... It reminds me of the boys when they were ordered um, sangrias by accident. And they were like, hey, it's not alcohol. <laughs> Even the painting is books. Okay, well... Does your computer tell me anything? It says something about updated databases. A small bed. I guess she lives here. Yes. This box is full of loose papers and notebooks. Yo, those are the manuscripts the author gave me. I'm supposed to like help him publish and stuff, but he hasn't showed his face around these parts lately. That's like throwing off my groove, man. Like, I'm used to him sending me new stuff all the time. I mean, of course, I can't keep up with the pace that he's writing, but he don't mind. Guy's just totally passionate about his job. Makes me want to work hard too, so I do. I've been playing catch up with the stuff I haven't gotten to finish yet. But you know what's weird? What? The stuff I'm supposed to finish don't get finished. Like, I've put out books after book- I- Oh, excuse me. Like, I've put out book after book, but the work pile don't get any smaller. Have I really been slacking that much? Yeah. <laughs> no, actually. I see all those books. That's a lot. That's a little extra. Oh, I guess we could- Oh, wait, let's read this book first. A book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she liked in, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one do you encounter? Ooh, bookworm. Yes. A little bit. It's a stack of blank papers. Thank you very much. Okay, and then we where we can just go to sleep. I don't think this is a good time for a nap, Sky. <gasps> Why not? I've been reading so much. So what do I do? <gasps> oh right, we have a book that we can have um them translate for us. Oh, I do have this book. Yo, yo, where'd you find this? Somewhere in the Barrens, cause that's got that symbol and everything. Here, let me read it. Aw, oh, seriously, he even used that language. I gotta translate this, man. Mind if I borrow this? Not at all. Sweet. It's gonna take a while, though. You cool with that? That's fine. Ah, oh, excuse me. Whoa, dude, you look wiped, kiddo. Huh? You look totally tapped out, dude. I look, what? You look like you're ready to take five, bro. Yeah, I don't get it. Don't worry, I got you. I got a guest room in the attic down the hall. If you don't crash there, go ahead, go for it. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. I kind of want to build this like specific area in the Sims. I'm really curious. Okay, so do they even have a kitchen? This looks like a table, but there's like no stove or anything. But there's a fridge like right here. Ooh. Okay, I might do this later. <laughs> okay, so let's finally go to sleep. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yeah, go ahead. 